So in today's tutorial, what we're going to be doing is teaching you guys how you can get yourself some cheap Sudamerica and Libertores cards to go and help you complete the Premium League SBC. Before we do start that though, if you guys are interested, I do offer a daily subscriber training guide over on Twitch. All you got to do is head over to the, the top link on the description and I say you can subscribe for, for free with Amazon Prime. If not, it is £5, €5 Euros or $6. In that daily training guide, you actually get a daily updated list of like 100 plus Sudamerica Libertores silvers, which you can either go and flip or go and use for, uh, you know, for the SBCs. And on top of that, I also do have daily investments. I have daily updated data on how to shadow trade. So basically daily updated stuff to help you guys with all your trading and investing needs. So in today's video, what we're going to be doing is teaching you guys how you can go and source yourself the Sudamerica and Libertores cards to go and complete the League SBC. Because these are really, really expensive, and they're really expensive every year. But luckily, well, I've been using certain methods to get these cards for cheap every year. Let me go and show you a little example of what I mean. So for example, we've got this guy, Dominiguez, who picked up at 3.5K, but if I go and check the market right now on him, he should be flooded near enough around about 5K. There you go. So what are we doing? I mean, there's probably better examples. <laughs> for example, there you go. This guy we picked up for 2.1K. If I go and compare the market right now, you can see it's 5.1. There you go. Probably fits the agenda a little bit better. So let's go and talk about how on earth can you go and get these Sudamerica Silvers for as cheap as, uh, as I have here. So the first way to go and source your uh, Sudamerica Liberatorius cards for cheap is sniping. Uh, now this is sniping that you can really only do on Contour because we're going to be using a certain mechanic called Compare Price Back Out. So how do we go and set up the sniping filter? Well, what we want to do is we want to go and pick either Sudamerica or Libertores. We we'll use Libertores. You then want to go and set Silver Rare. This is because predominantly a lot of the high rated players are Silver Rares. Now, there are some Silver Non Rares, and we'll cover in a bit how we go and go and win them on deals. And now, what you want to do is you want to set the highest buy now without there being any card, well, without there being more than one card over the hour. What do I mean by that? Well, let's go and put a 1.1k buy now. How many cards are over the hour? None. Perfect. Well, let's go and try 1.2k buy now. Let's go and scroll to the end. How many cards are over the, over the hour? None. Perfect. Let's go and put a 1.3k buy now. Scroll to the end, see how many cards are over the hour. How many cards are over the hour? 1.3k. None. Perfect. Let's try 1.4k. And the idea is you are going to increase the, um, the maximum buy now until there is more than one card over the hour. And as soon as there is more than one card over the hour, like this one, where there's two cards over the hour, we're going to have to lower it back down to when there's only one card over the hour. And there we go. That is a sniping filter we have. It will consistently be different. You know, it's not necessarily always going to be 1.3k. It is just the highest buy now without there being a card over the hour. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go and snipe 70 rated uh, above for this price. Now obviously there is a chance that since the release of this video and um, I guess when you're watching that there might be a variance, uh, a bigger variance in the 70 to 74 rated. But at the moment there is a big, there is not a big enough variance between the 70 to 74 rated to warrant, um, you know, you only wanting to buy 71s or higher. But obviously, the higher the rated the player, the more valuable they are in terms of what you could sell them for if you do want to sell them, or the more valuable they are to help you get the rating for the SBC. So let's continue to, uh, I say, oh yeah, sorry. What I'm doing is I'm pressing compare price back out. The reason I'm pressing compare price back out is because when there is no more, well, when there is no cards over the hour or no more than one card over the hour, it will refresh the market and show me all the brand new cards that are listed. Which is why when there were two cards over the hour, that filter just simply won't work because there is, you know, multiple cards over the hour. So again, you might have to be patient and how well this method works does vary what time of the day. I was doing it a little bit before this video and I'll be honest with you, it did take me about five minutes to snipe a player. Five minutes though, I did go and get myself a 71 rated player for 900 coins, uh, which would be either a 2k profit or me getting players for the SBC 2k cheaper than what they sell for. So as you can see, it's a little bit stagnant at the moment, but... There we go, you can see new cards appearing. So you see how that wasn't there previously? Just got listed, but it is not a buy. The only stuff we'd be looking to buy would be players who are 70 rated or above. And so a 71 rated at 950. One of them on my first try. Uh, obviously, you're not looking to buy in River Plate or Boca Junior players. Those cards have loads of gold cards, which as a result means their silvers just really aren't worth anything. Um, but yeah, what you're looking to buy is any silvers other than that. Let's say you can do this with the Sudamerica, or you can do it with Libertores. If you want to do the exact same thing with Sudamerica, again, we can go up to 1.1. Let's have a little look. 1.1. One card over the hour. We can keep on going. We can have up to um, up to one card. In fact, ideally, there's one card, because when you do it with one card over the hour, when you snipe, it puts it back on. But there you go. We're going to have to... We don't need have that one at 1.1. 
That's probably not the best time of the day. I'm doing this at about 8 o'clock in the morning, so not the best time of the day for me to uh, hard sell you sniping these cards because, you know, you kind of go away a little bit later in the day for it to pick up, although we've gone and choked that by. <laughs> Could have bought him there at 1k and he'd literally be able to sell him for 3k or have 3k worth of SBC value. So you can see the players do appear. You just need to be patient. Uh, also, in situations like this, I would then have to go and lower the buy now again because now there's more cards over the hour. So that is the first way. The first way of sourcing players is via sniping them. Again, you can go and sell them if you want a profit, or if you want, you can use them for the team. And the second way is bidding, so kind of like the uh, polar opposite. And as Cole Palmer stands behind my team, I'm not quite sure what glitch we're about to go and unlock. So bidding on the players is a little bit different as well. So the problem is, to actually get the players, uh, it's very hard to go and like find the players to go and bid on. So what I recommend doing is making a concept team of like all the 73 rated. So that's what I've gone and done right here. I've gone and made a concept team of all the 73 rated Libertorius cards because if I want to go and bid on them, I don't have to go and search their name. They're just here. You know, if I want to go and bid on this guy, I go compare price and then I can go and throw loads of bids on him there. If I want to go and bid on this guy, I go just go and press search the transfer market and then go and throw loads of bids there rather than me having to type because half these guys, are, you know, we've got a lot of Fernandez, there's a lot of Gonzalez, there's a lot of, you know, Arias, there's a lot of very mainstream South, uh, South American names, which normally means you have to type the first name and the second name to get them. But if you just go and add the multi concept squad, you can throw them all here. How do you throw cards onto a concept squad? All you gotta do is click on a player, or play, click on a player position, go to the club, type in the player you want, so let's type a Terbium. Then you're gonna go to concept on, and then you're gonna go and add a Terbium. But how much are we gonna go and bid on these players? Well. How you work out what you're going to go and bid on the players is you want to head over to Footbin. So you want to head over to Footbin, and when you head over to Footbin, your Footbin is going to look like this. You then want to go Players, boom. You then want to go Leagues, let's go and pick, what league is this again? This is the Libertores, so I can just go and type Libin, Libertores will pop up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and click on Rating here, and I'm going to go Minimum Rating, 73. Maximum Rating, 73. And what it's now going to do is show me all these players that I actually have on my concept squad. Because I've made a concept squad of all the 73 rated Libertorius players. And what I'm looking to do is kind of see what is the average price of one of these cards. Now, obviously we're not looking at a river plate because river plate are the one that are flooded. But let's have a look at the rest. We've got 4 4.5, 3.8, 3.9, 4.5, 4.5, 4.8, 4.2, 5.1, 4.4, 4.8, 4.2, 4.5. 4.7, 4.1, 5.1. I'd happily say they're averaging about 4.5k. So what we're going to do is we're going to look to win these cards on 1k or less bid from what they're averaging. So let's say, for example, I wanted to go and bid on the 72s. Again, probably not worth bidding on anything below 71s. We'd do the exact same thing here. We'd say, do you know what? They're probably up for around about 3.4 to 4k. I'll go bid up to 2.5k. So now what I'd proceed to do after working out that I'm happy to go and bid was it 3.5k and all these cards? I would just go in here and I'll go and throw in a bunch of 3.5k bids. So I can throw a 3.5k bid on him. I can go and throw a 3.5k bid on that one. And this actually incorporates with the last method. And the last method is actually just going through these players one by one, trying to win them with the exact same thing we did just then. So just like how I was happy to go and win them on bids for 3.5, I'm also going to look to buy them on buy nows for 3.5. So the idea is I'll go compare price. Um, and I'll just go and search him and I'll go and bid on anything under 3.5 and I'll go and buy anything under 3.5 because we're getting it 1k cheaper than what the rating's averaging and we're also, you know, potentially getting them on buy nows for 1k cheaper. So again, I'll throw a bid on him, I'll throw a bid on him, I'll throw a bid on him at 3.5 uh, and then again, anything with a buy now under 3.5, I'd go and buy. Again, this guy would just be a bunch of bids uh, and this is basically how you go and source your players. Now again, you will be able to get these players for cheaper between a, I guess I haven't talked about the cycle, but that's kind of how we source the players. So we source players via sniping, we source players via adding them to our concepts and winning them on bids, or we source the players via winning them on buy nows. Now all these will be cheaper to go and win them after, uh, whenever we get tradable electrum supply, so squad battles, division rivalries, and any generic SBCs, including marquee matchups, uh, you're going to look at winning them about 10-15 minutes after. Now, there's also a, a kind of a cycle of when these cards are also the cheapest. And the reason there's a cycle is because over the weekend, everyone wants to do the League SBC. It's kind of the reason why I released this video. I thought, well, you guys will want to do the League SBCs. But then what happens is when we get to a Monday, we, went and, we go and get the upgrade SBC. Now, obviously, the upgrade SBC from last week has expired, uh, which was the, if I can show it to you, which was the 80 plus. So what happens is because this SBC comes on the Monday, and is available to do between the Monday to the Friday. The players used for the league SBCs are the cheapest on the Monday to the uh, Monday to the Friday. 
because no one's really doing the league SBCs after 6 p.m. on Monday through to Friday because people would much prefer to go and do the upgrade SBCs, especially when we start seeing player picks. Which means if you are trading with these cards, do make sure to go and sell them before we get through to um, before we do get through to Monday 6 p.m. content because the demand for them significantly drops throughout their adventure. Also, make sure if you do get these pseudo American Libertores, do not list them above 4.9k if you are trading with them because you can run the risk of being banned. EA's ban detection system is pretty rubbish, but as long as you're not selling cards that are traditionally very cheap for high prices, then EA won't ban you. Oh, sorry, for max price, EA won't ban you. You can literally get 100 coins less than max by now, and uh, you know, from what we understand, people are very unscathed regarding getting banned. It's only when you're selling like non-rares, bronze and silvers that are traditionally discard for like 5.1k or whatever the max is, that's normally when we see people getting banned. But back underway with the cycle. So we normally go and see these players being the cheapest after marquee matchups because we would have gone four days without them being demanded. And then we get loads of supply with marquee matchups. And then Friday after 6 p.m., these cards rise loads. I said actually in one of my trading videos recently that you can go and just buy Sudamerica and Libertorius cards around about 10 past six on a Thursday, hold on to them till the Sunday evening, and the vast majority of weeks, they're going to like double or triple in price. And that is exactly what happened. I mean, we can go and use a Turby again. I'm sure if I go and show you a Turby now, a Turby is 4K now, but if I show you what he was going for yesterday, he was going for 2.5K after marquee matchups. So in the matter of, you know, a few, well, in the matter of not even 12 hours, this guy's nearly doubled in price because the demand, well, the he got heavily supplied yesterday, uh, on Thursday, sorry. Got heavily supplied on Thursday yesterday, but now because we're in a brand new promo, there's a lot more hype. That's another reason why these cards are expensive over the weekend, because everyone wants to pack the new promo cards. But obviously on the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're about five, six days into the promo, and they're not as interesting. So that is kind of the cycle of buying these cards. If you don't want to even bother sniping them or having to win them on deals, just go and buy them Thursday after marquee matchups, and then go and sell them Sunday evening. Understand that uh, if we get any tradable Electrum supplies from generic SBCs, that can drop them. Although it didn't go and drop them yesterday when we got the uh, Electrum SBC, so not bad. But yeah, hopefully this video has going to help you guys being able to complete these SBCs for cheaper. And if you're using this for trading, hopefully it does make you good coins with trading. Thank you very much for watching, and we shall see you guys tomorrow with a brand new tutorial.